What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode right here, we're going to be capturing one of the legendary Pokemon of Unova, Reshram or Zekrom. I believe in Omega Ruby, let's see what we got right here. Hold on, let me take a look. In Omega Ruby, you will be getting Reshram right here. And uh, believe it or not guys, we're going to be capturing Kyurem in this one too. Um, barring any kind of... Uh, Yes, that goes on around here now. In order to get one of these two legendary Pokemon, Reshiram or Zekrom, you actually have to have a Pokemon at level 100 on your team. I don't have any of that, so what I did was I actually traded from my own, uh, my Alpha Zapphire walkthrough, or not my Alpha Zapphire walkthrough, my Alpha Zapphire game, and put it on all my team. Now this is going to go against me a little because it's one of the legendary uh, quote-unquote dogs right here. It is uh, this guy right here. Japanese Entei. Don't know where I got it. Don't remember how I got it. But, yeah, I got it a long, long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. But it is on our team. So now, now that we got this guy on our team, let's go ahead and start flying. Once you have a Pokemon at level 100, you will be able to find another place right here that you guys haven't seen in quite some time or ever. And uh, well, I'm just going to look for it right here. Let's see. So here we are in Petalburg City. And where will it have? Uh, where will it appear? I think it's somewhere. Oh, it's right there somewhere. So as you can see, the path has opened. This is the Fabled Cave. Once you have a Pokemon at level 100, you will have the Fabled Cave open up for you. So we're gonna go in there, capture ourselves a Reshram, and then you know we're gonna be trading for a Zekrom, have them both on our team, and then you know have that Pokemon that we have always wanted. So let's go ahead and save this game because. Of course, good old Draven has a has a little bit of a habit to make his Pokemon or make these Pokemon faint or something. All right, here we go. Maximum effort. The area is filled with a blazing pressure. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Where is this blazing pressure? As you can see, there is a uh, there is a glory hole right there. So let's go ahead and press this. And a mysterious ring is floating in the air. Something is visible deep in the hole. Giggity. Would you like to put your hand deep in the hole? Giggity. Alrighty, let's go ahead and press that button. And... Would you look at that? Reshram has appeared. Okay, alrighty. Reshram, I haven't seen you since Pokemon Black. And, uh, well, it's only fitting that we can capture you right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get you, uh, you know, nice and paralyzed. That way you don't have to, like, uh, that way you don't escape or anything like that. So there we go. Look at that. You're nice and paralyzed. Yes, you cannot move. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so I did not change any of my Pokemon except for Entei right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go straight to Tank. That way... We can start just tanking away with this person. So here we go, tank. What is up? And here comes an extra sensory from Reshram. And this guy is not taking any BS right now. So we gotta hit it at least one good time in order to, you know, actually have a chance. So here we go with a body slam. And that right there is a, a pretty good hit. And oh crud. Okay, so we're paralyzed right there, so now... Yeah, okay. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so now it's at a nice level where we can actually capture this guy. So let's go ahead and start throwing these timer balls like if it was crazy right here. So come on, timer balls. Help me out. Yeah, buddy. Stay in there. God dang it. Oh, damn. Rush Ram is... Uh... Using its specialty move right here, Fusion Flare, basically a fireball of death. And uh, there goes Tank. Uh, gravy. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the next Pokemon. I believe the next Pokemon should be Hydra because it, well, it does have an adva a distinct advantage on him. Being, uh, well, it's a, it's a water type Pokemon right here. So here we are intimidating this Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, we are in a cave. I don't have a... I don't have those uh, those balls right there, whatever, whatever it was called. So here we go. Dust, uh, dust balls. But this is a timer ball right here. One. Damn it! Okay, so it's not going to be easy. Here comes an extra sensory. This uh, this Pokemon right here likes to... It's, it's going to be messing with us for quite some time. 
I do have weaker Pokemon to actually try and hit it, but I am not going to risk it because knowing my luck, I might have to do this all over again. And two, here's three, stay in that ball. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank you, baby Arceus. Look at that. We caught ourselves a Reshiram. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're making some stuff work right here. Look at that, and Nessie grows levels because, you know, she's just being a, a slacker right there. Okay, so here it is, guys. A Reshiram, the vast white Pokemon. Dragon and Fire type. 10 feet, 6 inches, 727 pounds of pure awesomeness right here. We've we have encountered this Pokemon before in a uh, secret base. This legendary Pokemon can scorch the world with fire. It helps those who want to build a world of truth. Would you look at that? No, I will not nickname this guy right here. So, what is going to happen right now is I am actually going to step outside and we're going to be going to the closest town right here because now we're going to be trading for a Zacrum and good for us, or lucky for us, we actually uh, we actually have one on Pokemon Alpha Zapphire. So, let's go ahead and just park our car right here. Actually, we probably should have parked it... Uh, near a Pokemon set right here. Ah, crap. Okay, here we go. Uh, and... Well, I am going to... I'm actually going to go to the Pokemon Center right here because uh, I kind of need to... Uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of need to get, get over there. So, let's see. That is another that is another legendary Pokemon right there. This is a, actually one of the easier uh, legendary Pokemon that I can actually get. Most of them are time-based and all that stuff, so... Uh, for me, to do all of this in one episode, that is no biggie. So, again, now we're going to be trading Pokemon right here. You guys can't see what's on the bottom right there on my friends list, but I will be I will be turning on my second uh, 3DS right here. It's actually a 2DS, the old 2DS, and uh, I will be showcasing my uh, copy of what you might call it, Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. Now, if you guys remember... Well, if you guys haven't noticed, I've actually been uploading a boatload of uh, a boatload of Pokemon videos uh, that are non-narrated. Some of the versions that I have not done, and Alpha Zapphire is one of those Pokemon games that I'm actually planning on uh, showcasing non-narrated uh, versions and stuff. So, hooray for that one, I guess? So, here we are going into a trade with myself, and, well, I think I'm going to trade back that Entei because, uh, yeah, kind of screwed... For me, I was like, oh crap, I kind of screwed myself by, you know, sending an Entei. So, we're going to send this Entei back right here. And good old Draven on the other side right here is going to look for his Zekrom. So, I'm actually looking at it right now. Hold on, where is it? I, I, know, I, have, I know I have it in like a specific box right here. Okay, so that's a starter Pokemon. Ah, there you are. Okay, so... Here we are, we're going to send our good old buddy Zekrom to the Omega Ruby. As you can see, yeah, got it with a Master Ball. Don't really care. Played it off screen and all that stuff. So, there we go. We are trading these Pokemon. And crap, it has been cancelled. Hold on. There we go. And that, there we go. Trading and trading. And we are trading back that Entei that we got. Now, this is a shiny Entei. I can't remember when I got it. I think it was when, like, this game started out. I don't know. I do have a lot of Pokemon in in both games right here that I've had since 2014. So that's a <laughs> Pokemon age. That is a while. So as you can see, we got ourselves a Zekrom. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So... Let's see. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got it. We we just got to get this cold communication thing going right here. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're communicating. Stand by. Hurry the ape up. Okay. So that is that for the trade. Don't really need to trade anything else. Maybe late until later. So there we go. See you, Draven. I'm gonna put you on sleep. And okay. So. Now, what you need to do right here is you need to actually have both uh, Reshiram and Zekrom on your team in order to get, uh, uh, what was it, Curium. So, what's going to happen now is we're going to actually look for that other legendary Pokemon right here. 
And uh, let's see, where in the heck are you? Damn, I have so many boxes that I just... Yeah, wow. I do have a legendary box right here. Starter box and everything. Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll evolve and trade all these Pokemon. But where in the heck is Carmen? Ah, there you are. Okay, so there is Reshiram. So what's going to happen now is I'm actually going to switch him out with uh, Poliwhirl. And there we go. So now we got two uh, two of the legendary Pokemon from... Uh, from uh, what you call it, from Unova. So before we do anything, let's go right ahead and go straight to the Pokédex. One thing that I like about the new uh, Pokédex in uh, in uh, Let's Go Pikachu is that as soon as you capture the Pokémon, it lets you read the Pokédex uh, entry right there. So we're gonna go all the way back, and here we are with Zekrom. So there it is, guys. Zekrom, the Deep Black Pokémon. Dragon and Electric type Pokemon, 9 feet, 6 inches, 760 pounds of pure freaking darkness. And this legendary Pokemon can scorch the world with lightning. It assists those who want to build an ideal world. The yin and yang of Pokemon right here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to go back up on the Eon Flute. And we're going to go straight back to the, uh, the Pathless Plane or whatever it was called. I don't even know. I don't necessarily grasp the name of these, these 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 areas right here. So, as you can see, let's see, where in the mother lover are you? Huh? I think I passed it. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, hold on. Let me read these. Uh, let me let me read the entry right here. Okay, so okay, Kirim on the team near Fall Arbor Town. Where is Fall Arbor Town? Oh, it's right over there. Okay, so we need to go near to Full Arbor Town, and when, let's see, Full Arbor Town's right here, and as you can see, the Gnarled Den will appear, it's right between the mountains, so let's go right ahead and land onto this place. Alrighty, look at that, I'm back baby. Okay, alrighty, so, let's see. Here we are in the Gnarled Den. Now, I need to check up on something right here. Yes, Tank has fainted, so I need to revive this guy because uh, he is going to be a vital part of this whole capturing right here. And uh, the old Jatu not going to use that. The Revival Herb, yeah. Let, let's let Tank hate me for just a little bit. Of course, it probably does hate me just because, yeah, you know, I, I made it faint and all that stuff. So, here we are, guys, in the Gnarled Path. And this is exactly where you'll find Kyurem. What you need is both Zekrom and Kyurem, or, yeah, what was it, Zekrom and Reshiram on your team in order to get this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and find this Pokemon right here inside this uh, big old cave. And this area is filled with a freezing pressure. Hmm. Freezing pressure. And just as you walk in, you'll see some ice all over the place. And there is another portal right there waiting for you. A mysterious ring is floating in the air. Something is visible deep in the hole, Giggity. Would you like to put your hand deep in the hole, Giggity? Yes, I would. Okay. So here it is, guys. Another legendary Pokemon battle. And it is Kyurem, the legendary Pokemon from uh, Unova. Or, you know, what could have been Pokemon Gray. But, you know, they decided to go black and white, too. And fusion Pokemon, I think. Are they still doing that fusion Pokemon? I don't even know. So let's go ahead and use Thunder Wave and make this Pokemon paralyzed because that is a good strategy, right? It's a very dang good strategy. And look at that, Kyurem has been paralyzed. Again, it is a Dragon and Ice type Pokemon, so yeah, just be aware of that. Ice type moves won't necessarily work. So what I'm gonna do, going back to Tank, getting the bitterness out of his mouth after giving him a revival herb. And look at that, Tank. What's up? And here comes a Dragon Breath. And uh, that right there is not going to do much. But luckily for us, we do have Body Slam. So this will actually help us just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get a critical hit. And gla what the hell? Glaciate? That is its specialty move right there. And uh, wow, our speed has fallen. So we're going to have to do another Body Slam. Hopefully this guy doesn't faint. Please do not faint because good old Draven's gonna get mad right here. So here we go, Body Slam. And there we go, it's in the red. So let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon right now. Okay, Timer Ball, let's go. 
Alrighty. Stay in the ball. Okay, so, you know, timer balls are not really going to work at the first time. So here comes another Dragon Breath. Go ahead, paralyze my Pokemon. He's, he's already done his job. So let's go again, another timer ball. Please, please stay. Stay in that ball. So I can have all three of these Pokemon right here. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. Stay! Yes! <laughs> Look at that, guys. We caught ourselves that third legendary Pokemon, Curum. Alrighty. Look at that. Tank grows to level 56. And Hydra, of course, is boosting up his levels, too. Look at that. We caught ourselves Curum, guys. Alrighty. So, as you can see, Curum, the boundary Pokemon. Dragon and Ice type Pokemon. It is 9 feet, 10 inches. It weighs in at 716 pounds of scariness right here. And this legendary Ice Pokemon waits for the hero to fill in the missing parts of its body with truth, truth or ideals. Huh. I probably should get on that Pokemon Black and White too. That way I can know what it's talking about. But yeah, we captured this Pokemon, and I'm not going to nickname him. It's a, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Very, very cool Pokemon. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and get the F out of here. We cut ourselves three Pokemon, guys. Three good Pokemon. And, well, cut two. Traded for one. It, it, it was a good day. Anywho, guys, like I said early on into this episode right here, yeah, um, my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire game right here, um, eventually I'm going to have to... You know, reset it and all that stuff, and then just showcase. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to showcase Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, uh, an Alpha Sapphire walkthrough right here. It's going to be non-narrated, just like you know, red, blue, gold, silver, you know, that kind of stuff. That way, I can have more guides onto this channel. That way, when you know it's time for me to go, time for me to like you know retire from YouTube, you guys will have a full uh, guide right here into YouTube, and hopefully, it'll be good to your liking and all that stuff. But anywho, we caught ourselves another Pokemon. This has been another episode of the Legendary Catchings. I do not know what we're going to do in the next episode, but it's going to be another Legendary Pokemon. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.